they call them bankers hours for a reason. Uh, they're, they're ideal and they're the most luxurious hours to be working, except for the, when you're out of work, you have to get rid, you know, get ready to do your stuff. So the rest of the world is looking at houses in the evening, looking at houses on weekend in real estate. That was, I thought I'd have a lot more time on my hands. Um, and it was in fact the opposite spec be if you want to succeed and if you want to grow your business and actually maintain a, a um, career, excuse me, in real estate, you have to, you know, you know what you got to do. You got to mm-hmm. run. You're a runner. You got to run. You got to run. You got to get up and run. You know, <laughs> I don't get up and run. I still, <laughs> still look like this. I used to run, but one day we'll go, I'm going to get out there with you. Back. <laughs> So I can slow down, you know, like a, <laughs> but with little, with little kids, it's hard, especially there's a lot of people think that, you know, I have kids at home and that's one of the first thoughts that I think drives people to get into real estate. I would love to have a flexible schedule. You know, uh, that's a very loose term, flexible. It's not, it's not very flexible. You, you have to be flexible for your clients in order to meet that. So I have to move things around and I have to uh, go uncomfortable times in my first couple of years. That was, that was the biggest struggle for me. Um, I started to feel parent guilt, and, and, and you know, there's a lot of emotional roller coasters you can go through yeah. in a real estate career or in any career. But for that matter, um, you know, that was one of the factors that that you know I had to find balance in and whatnot. And 